Hello, Facebook friends, Instagrammers, Twitter followers, social media people at large, my pagans, my Wiccans, my witches, my muggles. How y'all doing? Uh, it is Wednesday. What did it say? The 14th. Yeah, it's been a month since Valentine's Day. And we are in Dark Moon. Dark Moon is the three days before New Moon. New Moon is this Saturday, but it goes void, of course, at the same time, which I find interesting right before we hit Ostara. Now, we do have some Ostara events going on at the Silver Broom. Uh, Sunday, in particular. So I guess that would be the 18th. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Lady Bridget. Good morning, Carol Ann. We've got Lady Bridget doing um, an Ostara service at 10 a.m. Then we have our first Silver Broom Sabbath Festival, the Ostara Festival. I think that starts at 1 p.m. We've got vendors. We've got uh, Gaetana and Amy, I think, are doing um, an Ostara egg coloring craft, so please let them know you're coming. Just go to the Facebook um, event and click going so they know how to prepare. Then Lady Gaetana is doing uh, a Sabbath class on Ostara, followed by a Ostara ceremony ritual, call it what you will. Uh, yeah, just let them know you're coming so they can prepare uh, the fees the tuition, they're not charging a lot. It's a fundraiser for the Silver Broom, so like just so that they could pay for supplies and help the Silver Broom um, pay its bills. That said, we are in Aquarius Moon right now. Dark Moon in Aquarius, and we'll be going into Dark Moon in Pisces. My moon sign is Pisces, so um, it could be a little rigorous out there. So I'm putting it out there for you all to let you know that uh, help is available. I am available to help spiritual counseling, readings, stuff like that. I actually have a spiritual counseling client uh, later today. Grace curriculum later tonight. Uh, Hamptons, going out to the Hamptons to teach tomorrow, Friday, doing readings from home. So busy, busy, busy. Please reach out. And if you can't get a hold of me or don't want to get a hold of me, uh, reach out to somebody who is qualified skilled and qualified. I always recommend people to Alice Agostini at Triskele Wellness Center, should you need somebody with more letters behind their name than me. Uh, but, you know, this is a pre star thing. It's interesting we go through all of this death stuff before the rebirth of spring. Now, technically, Imbolc is the first Sabbath of, uh, good to know, feeling it big time. Yeah, well, you know, forgive, 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 forgive. Um, I actually just posted up on Vimeo, Miracles for the Magical. It's a reboot of the Miracles with Mark, uh, particularly focused on working with the principles of the Course in Miracles, translated for the magically inclined, uh, the pagan, the Wiccan, the witch, the whatever you want to call yourself, um, because forgiveness seems to be the way through, uh, particularly in the quantum model that we're all one, then all you're really doing is forgiving yourself, not your true self. Your true self does not need forgiveness. Your true self is eternal and divine. And that's uh, what I am shooting for, is the rebirth of that, or the re-experiencing of that uh, divine self. Uh, yeah, so go check it out on Vimeo. I posted it on my page. Um, it's just been an, an interesting couple of years, let alone a couple of weeks, um, but things are good. I'm moving along. I finally got everything moved into my house. It's just finding places for it all. My friend Dave put down some flooring up in the attic so I can store some stuff there. So it's the real um, challenge now of stepping into the new, stepping into the season of rebirth, um, a little bit deeper at Ostara. Um, so yeah, we're covering that at the Silver Broom, but I also know it's such a personal time for me, you know, a third Sabbath Ostara, third chakra solar plexus, which is personal power. So this is more about personal rebirth for me, um, but I know I have got to clear away the last vestiges of the dead inside of me, the unforgiven places, the unhealed aspects of the pain body, uh, very Eckhart Tolle there, the pain body. Um, so really reach out, not just to people for help, but reach out to your spirit. Um, finally moved in all the kitty stuff, yeah. Pretty much. Oh, and speaking of kitty stuff, here. Sebastian the Sweet. He's like, fuck off. I don't blame him. He's such a good boy. Um, yeah, so my energy is a little low, you know, caffeine aside, doing the best that I can. We're supposed to have a web meeting today, but the webmaster that I've been working for slipped on the ice, fell, hurt himself. So I'm like, okay, sending you grace and healing, that should, but... 
you know, nothing in this world is ever quite as we plan it to be, have you noticed? So uh, just doing my best. I hope you're doing your best. And I know we're all doing our best. Everybody's doing the best they can with the information and um, knowledge that they have, which is interesting because tonight I am teaching at the Grace Curriculum, the Grace of Knowledge and the Grace of Clarity, the Third Eye Graces, which have revealed so much to me. It's really about having the strength to handle vision and revelation. So looking forward to teaching that. Um, but uh, even that said, uh, I, I am posting uh, tomorrow the Sunday service that I did for Ostara last year. I keep the themes of that uh, very consistent. In other words, it doesn't matter what year it is. I go for the archetypal correspondences, the soul patterns, the soul powers, the grace, the shadow, all that stuff. So check that out. Um, because we need our coordinates. We, it's just, you know, like Google Maps or, or GPS, it's good to know where you are. helps you plot a course to where you want to go, which for me is about personal empowerment. You know, at UL I started working with um, Athena and Hermes, two air gods, which is tricky for me. I'm an earth sign. Um, and Athena appeared, I can only do air quotes with one hand because I'm holding the phone with the other, appeared to me last night. And uh, really changed the game. It was a very, very quick thing. <laughs> I think working with the gods sometimes is like being exposed to radiation. It can only take a second, but it changes everything. And so I'm feeling like a juggernaut today. I'm feeling her strength. Um, she is the goddess that sits in the throne of Aquarius in my zodiacal pantheon. Uh, that's my seventh house. So she's my hero archetype with all sorts of secondary... Um, Kairos archetypes backing that up, the liberator, the companion, the strategist. So uh, just feeling like, let all things be exactly as they are. You know, my fusion of the principles of Course in Miracles, the practices of Course in Miracles with paganism has been very revolutionary for me, and I know very hopeful for others. So I really do recommend, follow along. If you can't get to um, the Silver Broom and Savel on Tuesday nights, every other Tuesday night, for Miracles for the Magical, I will be editing and posting the videos uh, up on Vimeo uh, consistently because I'm finding, if you've been watching the news, uh, feel new life calling, learn so much in the last couple of years on my way, blessed be Eve, and keep helping them their kitties. We love you so much for that. Well, I love you anyway, because we're all one. Um, but really, uh, the Course in Miracles, I think pagans, witches, magical people, if they could get past the language, could really, really, really benefit from what the Course is teaching. It's universal principle. So I know for myself the best way to spring forward into this new power these last few days of Imbolc Tide is to forgive, but to forgive in a way like I never have before. And here comes another kitty who says, Here, Bells, you want to be on camera? No, you'd rather lick your ass. Oh, who wouldn't if they could reach? Rim shot. Boom. Um, so yeah, busy week, although the past two days with another another nor'easter, uh, didn't get to work, but I'll be able to make up, at least catch up financially with that today, uh, going to the Hamptons tomorrow, and watching the finale of uh, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars with Mr. Handsome Leo Face tomorrow night. Um, he's been so great. I actually read him um, uh, cards, <laughs> not read him to filth, I mean, I read him. I read his cards, and he's just very receptive. I really like this guy. We'll see what happens. Um, but it's all just along the path, isn't it? You know, when I'm not doing uh, Miracles for the Magical on Tuesday nights, because that's every other week, the alternating Tuesday nights are the path of true love. And I just put up the second class for that one. Go check that one out on Vimeo, because if you're struggling with relationships of any kind, but particularly the romantic, that's my specialty. You know, I'm being known colloquially as the love witch because people are really coming to me for spiritual counseling and readings and stuff like that. Um, uh, love watching from home. Love the kitties. Well, the kitties love you too, even though they haven't met you yet. Bring a box of temptations. They'll worship you temporarily. I dive deep, and this gives the momentum to spring up and forward. Absolutely. But forgive, forgive, forgive. Forgive, forgive, forgive. You know, again... I have had to reach outside of the pagan box to get what I need to heal personally. The work of Carolyn Mace, um, the, curse, the, the work of Deepak Chopra, the work of Eckhart Tolle, Marianne Williamson, Course of Miracles, chakra stuff, because chakras ain't Western, it's Eastern. Um, all of that has been such a boon to me in my spiritual path. And now with Athena riding along on my crown chakra as she does, uh, 
I feel like I have turned a corner. These past three years have been brutal in terms of the transformation. I feel like I've done the Phoenix thing over and over and over again. Ashes rise, ashes rise, ashes rise. So that's why I'm kind of looking forward to Persephone, one of my dearest goddesses. Oh, she sits in my Capricorn throne in my Pantheon. Um, Persephone rising, because <laughs> I've been in Persephone underground since Mabin, so that's the six months. Uh, driving to Montauk for work. Uh, needing to hear all this. Thank you, Marla. I love you so much, Colleen, and we miss the crap out of you at the Silver Broom. Bring kitties to class. Love how they can... <laughs> yes, we can. Oh, yeah. Let's talk black witch cat chaos. Oh, no, no, no. They, they would be out that door and terrorizing Sayville. They're really good here, Louisia. Um, anyway, yes, there is a wealth of guides from all directions with a common thread. Agreed. Yeah, you know, universal truth is universal truth wherever you can find it. So, uh, you know, I got up, shit showered, shaved, got ready for this meeting, then it canceled. So my first client is at 4.30, so I figured I haven't done these in a little while. Let me crank out another one. Um, there's tons of stuff uh, out there that I've taught that's been recorded on Vimeo and on YouTube. Um, please follow us on Vimeo and YouTube. Um, it's free to follow. Uh, and on YouTube, hit that notification button so that you will get notifications when I post new stuff. Because now that spring is around the corner, Ostara is almost tomorrow, then, uh, you know, there's going to be a hell of a lot more personal power and creativity for me to uh, create more, because I'm not stopping. You know, when I croak, I've said two things. When I croak, because, you know, I'm going to eventually, everybody does, when I reemerge into the non-physical, I will at least have a video legacy. So maybe in my last, my next life, my last life, maybe if I have to reincarnate again, I'll be able to find myself. <laughs> <laughs> in the video archives and just pick up where I left off. We'll see. Uh, but the other thing is I want a fucking shrine. I don't want a headstone. I want a shrine. And I want engraved in stone the things I've said. That may not be my own original quote. Simple need not imply easy. He did his best and can't be racist if you swallow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thankfully, no matter what my spiritual path entails, that sense of humor will never go away. Let's hope. All right, people. I love you all. Uh, good dark, good dark moon. Happy dark moon. Good luck to you this dark moon. Reach out. There's lots of info out there. But forgive, 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 and not the forgiveness you were taught growing up. Be the bigger person because makes the other person the lesser person. But forgive according to the quantum model that you're only forgiving yourself. Genius is never appreciated in its own time. Well, you know. Thankfully, good hair is. Yeah. And I got to get a haircut. Oh, and I'm going to be on um, Phoenix Red Hawk's show. Uh, she's taping me on the 24th that I'm teaching Tyro all day. I'm going to sit with her this Sunday at the Ostar Festival and, you know, get to know each other a little bit. So once again, once again into public access, once again into um, into the foray, the foray, the foray, the foray. Fuck, I can't talk. Yeah, obviously I can. Um, once again, the foray into the public media uh, I'm really, 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 really looking forward to that. She's she's great. We haven't met face-to-face, -face, but we've been following each other on social media for a while. So that should be interesting. All right, people. I got to, I don't know. Well, actually, I've got a, a load in the dishwasher I have to take care of. Um, but other than that, I wish you well. Have a really great day. Keep in touch. Reach out if you need it. Hail. Farewell. And blessed be, peoples. Ciao. Bello.